And breaking inputs that we are tracking this minute, opposition parties will be in a huddle in the national capital starting tonight and the meeting will go on till tomorrow. This will be led by Chandra Babu Naidu of the TDP and Ahmadmi party has also lent its support. A delegation of over 10 opposition parties will be going to meet, will be going to the poll panel to complain about EVM and EVM security. Samia now joins me with details. Yes, Samia. Well, that is what we're picking up from my sources is right now. Uh, whether it's the Congress Party along with the TMC, the left, uh, the Amazi Party and many other parties from the South as well, including uh, all that uh, uh, that Sundar Babu Naidu is trying to get together, will all be heading to the Election Commission over the issue of EVMs and the VV Pact tomorrow at 3 p.m. This is going to be a consolidated delegation of the opposition parties to try and already uh, raise the issue of uh, the EVM malfunctions and how they have not had faith in the EVMs that they have been demanding a ballot uh, poll all this while and thus uh, the entire results that will come out on 23rd should be seen in that view. This is definitely uh, the posturing that the opposition party is trying to do ahead of the results today and this comes soon after uh, uh, the entire exit poll uh, which painted a dismal picture for the opposition. So clearly this is their uh, way of uh, building up an, a, a counter narrative of sorts before the election results are out on May 23rd. Tomorrow, a delegation of multi-party from the opposition parties and the like-minded parties, those who are UPA partners, will be uh, going to the election commission. The show Congress party will be playing an important role in steering that entire delegation towards the election commission. All right, Samia, thanks for the update. Paul uh, now joins us. So does Vaishnavi. Deepak also with us. Deepak. To you first, why are the opposition parties so spooked after the exit poll projections? Well, uh, it's at the, at, at, up until now, they've been optimistic. We've seen, you know, Congress leaders and the JDS leaders say in Karnataka, for example, uh, that they will get over 20 now, out of the 28. Now, after the exit poll pro projections, while many can dismiss it, saying, you know, it cannot give you an accurate idea about what the results would be, one would clearly understand that it is going to show you an inclination of what the results would be like. And clearly here, it's predicting an NDA victory. And now, uh, everyone's going into a, a defensive mode. We even saw... Uh, you know the KPCC president Dinesh Gundrav today uh, from up until now being very optimistic and keeping their numbers at about 20 today saying they will get about 11 to 12 in Karnataka but definitely it seems like with the uh, issue of the EVMs being raised after the exit polls uh, you know with in Andhra Pradesh the chief minister planning to stage a protest outside the election commission office and all these developments taking place there's definitely some sort of paranoia about what could happen uh, you know uh, to them after 23rd because they have been strongly opposing the Modi government which seems to be coming back to power um, so it, it looks like there's there is going to be some sort of damage control and also uh, and and I to look at alternatives at this point in time 